So today, day eight, is shaping out to be an all burger day, which I don't mind at all. <laughs> They're delicious, and um, I'm just gobbling them down, just gobbling. But I uh, got a little bored of the cheddar and thought I would mix it up with some with some Swiss. Swiss. And um, some um, provolone. Yes. I like the accent. It's fine. <laughs> So here we are, finishing up the burgers. I put a ton of butter in the, in the thing, the pan, and it was a waste. These are fully fatty burgers, and they, well, they, I think they absorbed some of it. That light is so bright. So sorry about that. Okay, so here we have it. You see, you can't see it. There's just a lot of butter floating around here. One with provolone and one with Swiss. And we are going to garnish this with a little bit of ketchup because I do love that ketchup taste. It makes it taste like a burger. Mmm. That is what I mean by a garnish. <laughs> it is a very thin little line of ketchup. It's like a, it's probably a tablespoon. <laughs> I made a sort of a weird looking smiley face. <laughs> That's really, really good. It's juicy. Mm. Making a burger at home? Mm. That's way better. <laughs> I forgot salt. Why do I always forget salt? What's wrong with me? Maybe that is a white thing. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe I'm just absent-minded. No. You know what it is? It is dogma. Diet dogma. Salt causes high blood pressure. Don't put it on your food. So I'm just not in the habit of putting salt on my food. You know? <laughs> that is exactly what it is. This is delicious. I'm going to finish the whole thing. I, I cooked it perfectly. Um, there's no pink. But... I mean, I should have undercooked it. Undercooked meat is so much better. It has so much more flavor. Mwah.